And since uh, we did, you, you talk about Hogwarts Legacy earlier. Yeah. Um, did you beat the game yet? Not yet. I'm still playing through it. I'm like halfway through. <laughs> I had to stop like because I'm playing Resident Evil. But how do you liking the game? Oh, I love the game. I'm not good at flying on my broom. I still have to improve that. And I'm actually like actively not improving because I suck at it. So I'm like, I'm leaving that, that chick on red. Like I'm not doing, I'm not doing the courses because I'm not good at it. Um, but I love the game. The game is great. What house did you pick? Or did you? Oh, end up I was already it? started into Slytherin. Yeah. I had okay. a, I had my, um, my, my account already made. So it, I was automatically sorted into Slytherin. See, like I, I was, I was sorted into Hufflepuff. I'm like, can I pick? Ah! <laughs> I was like, can I pick? <laughs> can I not be in Hufflepuff, please? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's you are sorted. Okay, that's the official J.K. Rowling sorting ceremony. You're a Hufflepuff, sir. But you know what? Behind every Hufflepuff is uh, a Slytherin and a Ravenclaw. You know, trying to to keep them on track. That's. Yeah, I, I I agree, I agree. So um, the reason why I want to talk about it is because um, officially, I think earlier this week they announced that uh, Hogwarts Legacy is officially coming to the Nintendo Switch. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so uh, it's, it's coming out in about well, less than a month, um, November fourteenth. I'm like, okay, cool. And then just like clockwork, <laughs> just like clockwork, this is on. They went uh, back. They have returned. This is from, I coming to us from the master of the TDS. He says oh, within. TDS. Yeah. yeah, within the announcement uh, the other day of the long-awaited delayed release of Hogwarts Legacy for the Nintendo Switch, many were excited. However, never to miss an opportunity, Twitter X weirdos are back, and so is the discourse around the game due to the statements made by J.K. Rowling. Screaming about J.K. Rowling and transphobia, saying that anyone who buys the game is transphobic or should come to harm, even threatening to report or expose the streamers, calling... Uh, anyone who call for an encore Hogwarts Legacy controversy, Electric Boogaloo is here. <laughs> but yeah, so there's a bunch of these crazy, crazy people online who are like super upset again. Yeah, it's it's like you you already tried doing this and it didn't work. What makes you think it, it's going to work again? You know, it you can't. People love the game. Just just deal with it. These people that like that live in their own little bubble that live in their own little, uh, uh, um, what is it? Echo chamber. Echo chamber. Thank you. <laughs> These people that live in their own little echo chamber. They think that they, that they have all of the right opinions. They think that JK Rowling is some sort of monster. I mean, there was like that, that there was that, um, that dude on TikTok who was taking JK Rowling's name out of the books, the Harry Potter books and like re, redoing them so that the books, the people that don't like JK Rowling can still enjoy the books without her mark on it. And it's like, dude, don't you, do, these are still her words. These are still her stories. You guys make absolutely no sense by doing any of this. You know, it's yeah. still her, it's still, it still came from JK Rowling. Um, and the, the fact that they're like, you can, you have to enjoy, you have to enjoy it without JK Rowling, or please don't, don't send JK Rowling any, uh, any royalties, it's like you, you can't stop it from happening. You know, yeah. just because you don't like her opinions doesn't mean that other people can't enjoy playing this game. You don't like her opinions, that's a you problem. You don't play the game, that's fine. But don't try and make your problem everybody else's problem, you know, yeah. by, by like going to these streamers' streams and trying to cancel them or trying to report their account or whatever just because you don't like JK Rowling. That that makes it's so stupid. And these same yeah. people are trying to say, like, uh <clears throat> the the three main actors in Hog in uh in Harry Potter um shouldn't don't owe JK Rowling anything. And it's like, are you kidding right now? Like seriously? And the directors, like they don't owe JK Rowling a thing. They always say, like, we, we they don't owe JK Rowling a thing. They're, those those same people, it's like you realize that if she hadn't created these stories. They wouldn't be in the position that they're in. They're literally in their position because of J.K. Rowling. So, yes, they, they can thank J.K. Rowling for the success that they've had in their career because they wouldn't have had that success had she not written the stories, had she not written these books, and had these books not been so successful that people wanted to make movies. And it's just so ridiculous. <laughs> like, it's the way they just completely 
uh, explain away everything just because of their hatred towards J.K. Rowling. And it makes absolutely no sense. But I don't think that we're dealing with stable people here. Like these people have mental issues. They're very unhinged. Yep. Um, and, and they take everything out on other people. So that that's yeah. pretty much what this is. Yeah, like yeah. didn't the the original three, um, uh, Daniel, Rupert, and her, uh, what's it called again? Uh, I forgot her name already. Emma, uh, Emma, Emma Watson, all came yeah. out said, "Oh, we don't really support her and her stands and stuff like that." Like they've sort yeah. of said stuff like against J.K. Rowling. I think yeah. like I think Daniel and uh, Emma, Emma did, but I don't know about I'm Rupert. I'm not sure with Ron. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know about him, but I know the other two kind of did in their own yeah. little way. And and, yeah. and the ones that defended her is like. Malfoy and Voldemort. <laughs> yeah, like all, it's actually really funny. Yeah, yeah. all the all, all the people. It, it's it, what what's pretty shitty was when um the the actor who played a uh, Hagrid passed away because like he was support uh J.K. Rowling one hundred percent. And then I saw some people who are on like Twitter and X. They're like, good. Like I'm glad he's gone. No yeah, one. it's interesting. The people that supported J.K. Rowling are a lot older. Again, I think that with age comes you know common sense, yeah. a bit of wise, you know. A bit of wisdom um and they they see it and they can comprehend it and they're just like eh, we support her yeah and you don't and, like it don't like it i do like uh the tom not Felton. everybody's going to agree you know they completely yeah. understand that but i think yeah, that tom. the younger actors again like i feel like they have their whole acting careers ahead of them so they're sort of uh in a pickle in a sense like uh, yeah kind of like cute the early hubris because of their massive success mm -hmm. they, they they get they develop the kind of attitude yeah mm -hmm. yeah like i i know that tom felton came out and like he was like promoting the game he's like oh i'm playing the yeah, game yeah tom felton does that all the time and he, he also supports jk rowling like he always does that like he absolutely 100 percent knows that like the success that he has comes from jk rowling like a lot of uh, I went, a lot of them do like they a lot of them do uh save for like a lot of the older actors who had their um who had their careers before you know being brought on to harry potter but like the younger actors yeah they all do owe their success and popularity to jk rowling and they know it yeah yeah there's like how many pages is like there's like six of them here <laughs> so nope, nope. Again, these people aren't very stable. They're not yeah. stable people. The, the funniest one I mean, literally I've seen a that person they've that they've never met who has an opinion that they don't agree with is all they care about in life. Like it's it it's eating them up inside in their minds. They can't handle it. So that's not very they're not very stable. Yeah. What do you yeah, think, Gary? The, the funniest thing I've seen them do that they thought it was such a big brain move. Is that they bought the highest edition and then they picked they took a picture of them smashing it. It's like, ah, take that, JK Rowling. It's like, dude, yeah. she she made a lot of money from you buying that thing. Mm -hmm. They don't see it that I, way. They see it as yeah. ah, look what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, they don't see it that way. <laughs> it's, it's in the same, in the same, in the same way, this dude is taking these these books and just, you know, re re uh reskinning them or re like uh binding them it's like dude that's still jk rowling's work so you're so you're taking out her name oh no they're still reading jk yeah. rowling's you know imaginings <laughs> like it's still jk Rowling. <laughs> you can't take jk rowling out of harry potter and pretend that she didn't exist like those are her books those are her stories there's no way to do that <laughs> like it's yeah. so stupid I also heard that like i i think we talked about this um a couple months ago like when the whole thing talked uh, came out uh, the actress that played Luna Lovegood mm -hmm. basically came out and backed her too, backed um, J yeah. JK, which is which is super super cool. And um, and for me, it, I, have, I haven't gone back to uh, like Universal. Like I, I want to go back to, to like Wizarding World of Harry Potter because like playing the game, it made me feel like out like especially when I was at the parks and I was like, oh, this feels exactly like how the park was and. It makes me like I haven't gone to the Universal one ever since they made uh, Gringotts. So like it's been a long time. Oh, oh, I love I love going to Universal. I'm waiting for it to get like really chilly because I want to pull out my robe and finally go in my robe and <laughs> in my in my Slytherin robe because it's just way too hot. And I see people like walking around in the robes. I'm like, how are they even doing that? Like I'm wearing a tank top and like some leggings. Like I'm 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 freaking hot and they're 
wearing these robes. So I'm waiting for it to get <laughs> cooler so that way I can go out in my in my Slytherin robes. Is this how hot is it in Florida right now? It's hot. well, it, right now it's actually get, it's cooling down, so it's like in the 80s, um, and it gets cooler at night. But yeah, it, over the I you see people in the summer wearing that stuff, and it's like pff, no way. I'm in my house. Like I'm not even. <laughs> I'm not even getting out of here. Gray, have you been to uh you've been to Universal for the Mario stuff? Did you get to go to the Yeah, uh, yeah, we, I, yeah, yeah. I went there for I think that's my second or third time. Yeah, it's pretty good, pretty good. It's I was with my mom and auntie. And yeah, you could see people uh, buying Harry Potter merch and yeah, it's, it's still pretty active despite what these people are saying that it Yeah. Yeah, you're yeah. not going to stop people from liking JK Rowling's universe. No. No, I mean, especially the ones I grew up with it. Like I grew up with the Harry Potter movies. I love them. And uh, the Harry Potter, like uh, uh, Hogsmeade and um, and uh, uh, Diagon Alley, they're like the busiest parts of the park. They're always full of people. Always. Every single day they're full of, even still, they're full of people. So they, they can't, they, there's nothing they can do about that. And I think that that eats away at them, which is why they lash out on Twitter because they know that they're failing. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, yeah. I, I have a I have a friend who is like uh, extremely like super super woke, and like she used to be at Imagineering, and I remember um during my time at Disney Interactive, I I had lunch with her, and she was like, oh, I'm like I'm I'm sort of done here in, at Imagineering. I sort of want a different job. And during that time, I worked at Universal, and I know the girl who um. She, uh, I think she's currently working on a bunch of the new stuff that's happening in uh, Universal. Like she started doing like a bunch of engineering stuff. I was like, oh, I can talk to her. And she's like, oh, I, I would love to be a part of Harry Potter. Like I, I would love it. I would love it. And then with the whole turf thing came out with uh, J.K. Rowling, mm -hmm. all of a sudden she was like, you know, um, you know, trans women are women, and you know, you're a turf and stuff like that. And just like, oh, wow, you know, it's. And the reason why they're so upset is because they are, they probably thought that J.K. was on their side. And it's like, I, and they can't believe that something they made, and they loved growing up, like the person who made it is not, you know, not on your side and does not think the same thing. So, it fractures their reality. So yeah. I think that's the reason why they're super, super upset. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not yeah. like J.K. Rowling is saying anything controversial. She's yeah. not saying anything controversial. She's literally like saying, like, hey, uh, it, biology exists. You know, men are men, women are women, um, and. Like she's, she's protect JK Rowling is a, is a feminist, you know, she's, she's a huge feminist and she's just saying like, women should be protected. Women should have their spaces. Those spaces shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't allow men in those spaces, you know, because women can get hurt. Um, men should sit, be out, stay out of women's prisons. Like, but like they're, they're not controversial statements. She is fighting for women, but she's not fighting for them the way that these people want her to. Which is why what they have a problem with, mm -hmm. like J.K. Rowling is a is a feminist. She's a she's a normal she's a feminist, uh, but she's just not saying the correct things. She, you know, they they want you to reject everything that you grew up learning. They want you to reject biology, reject science, and she's not doing that. Yeah. It, um, how do you feel, Gray? Like, do 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 you think that? Um, do do you think? That, wait, speak, speak, speaking of the, uh, of J.K. Rowling. Um, didn't she say earlier this week that if she like she doesn't mind getting thrown in jail for the things she said about like yeah feminism? yeah she did she did thanks for checking out this segment of the project egg row podcast if you like what we do here please like share subscribe hit the notification bell and you will know next time when we go live we do go live every saturday at 8 p.m once again we are just getting started tons of more video to come Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.